Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, what I'm going to show you is we are going to import a CSV file and through that we are going to add the post in this. Uh, actually, I already implemented this on this website. So what actually I did is that, that we had it with this WordPress site where this WordPress plugin. So uh, what I did, I'm going to export one of the posts from here and uh, then I'm going to import it through CSV in Laravel website. So if you have a WordPress website and you want to export your posts to the any other Laravel project, you can use this. And I will add uh, the code so that you can download it. Now, you need to have this plugin in WordPress or any plugin, whichever you prefer, to get the CSV file. So here, what I did, I said specific post type to posts. Here I'm saying ta, uh, add filter title and equals. I just need to give the name of the post that I want to uh, take out. So uh, I have a post here and that is present in the WordPress. So what I do, I simply add it. So we got this and I click my post. Now, if I click on conf confirm and run export, you can see that it says that if we all export, we'll export one post. So it's, it's got, already got it. So if I click here, now it's going to export it. And this code is going to uh, import the CSV so we need to uh, get the CSV format uh, of this post. So once it is done, we will download that. So it's complete. Now it says CSV or bundle, we need CSV. Okay, we have the CSV now. I put the CSV on the desktop here. Now uh, site here presently on refresh, we have these posts and the latest post should come uh, here on refresh. So I will be doing that. So in here, I created this, and similar we are going to do in the project. So only I need to go to desktop, select that CSV, it's start import, and it says post updated. Now if I go to here and refresh, we should see our new post. So this is the functionality I'm going to show you in the demo project. We implemented it here, so I thought why not make a video for it so that you guys can see. So we just added this post here and it will have all the content the way it's supposed to have everything the images of the post and the code is showing and everything is working just fine so in the uh, uh, this video we will be working on this brand new project and we are going to import data from csv uh, so uh, for the text editor i'm using microsoft uh, visual studio i'm going to open the project in this so my project is uh, in my local host and uh, this is the test so uh, yeah it's here so presently we just have this uh, blank project and uh, i already set it up to virtual host if you don't know how to do it you can check the link to how to set up on virtual host so now well, first of all i'm going to have a table here uh, with the name of test as the name of test so it's this project so if I go into dot env already we have database connected with test and username root password is not provided so it should work straight away without problem so we have this page which is getting powered from uh, uh, the welcome page and uh, here uh, we are going to work because I don't want to uh, take this project too long so I just want to straight work to importing the CSV so what I do here is that first of all I remove all this content so these are the links I am going to remove them and uh, make it bigger. So we have uh, the project name and the title. So let's put it CSV import uh, model. Okay, so I save that and refresh. So we just got this. Now what I want, I want to form the form where we are going to select the file. So uh, let's do that. So simply, I'm going to say uh, here. And inside we want a form. Send in form, let's create an input. So input for well, the file we need to provide this form ink type multi uh, part form data and uh, method of post. Now if you want to use it so by submitting and refreshing the page then you can do that way by submitting this form, but we are going to do it through Ajax. So I'm going to give this uh, a name and uh, ID to this and name game okay so this is it is going to be now uh, we also want a button 
and value going to be start import. Okay, so if I go and look here, we get start import here, and presently this is refreshing and going submitting basically, so we did. We haven't selected any file, so we will be selecting it soon. So uh, we need to add uh, the script in this. So to add the script, I just put it here. And let's run the function. And here we're going to say alert works. Just to see if we are getting any error or we need to work on any errors. So inspect. I am not even getting the alert, so that means we need to include the jQuery. So I say J. And here we have it. So generally, we create the layout file to do the things like uh, working with this, but in this case, we just need to work on the CSV part. So I'm just going to do it straight away. So if I go here and refresh, we get the alert works. Now, the next step is to deal with the input so get the input so what I do I simply uh, give this an ID as well ID of uh, um, CSV import button and uh, let's uh, do one click so I say dollar ID dot click now we need a function for it simply and once you have a function, we need to get uh, the value of this. So I simply select it. Uh, we'll put in a variable, so it's on that. Um, while, well, so this is what we are getting now. So once we have this, the next step is to uh, work with the form data. So we need to pass the value, so we need to work in form data. So to do that, what I do here is I create a another let and it is going to be uh, form underscore data is equal to and uh, we need to uh, append this value this file path that I uh, mentioned here file path or file data whatever you want to call it so we simply say form underscore data dot append and inside append we need to pass the name is a file and then this file. The more appropriate is the data, so let me change it to data and then copy and paste in here. Alright, so we have the value. Now we can even check that if here as well. So to work with Ajax, we need to uh, define the Ajax and stuff. First of all, I want to see if uh, we are getting the value. So if I go here, refresh, go, select the file start uh, it, the value came and refreshed it straight away so uh, to stop the refreshing let's uh, put the prevent default so I say e here e dot prevent uh, default now it shouldn't be refreshing try refresh so if I select the file and click start above we get the path here and uh, uh, that's all we need for now so let's let's add the Ajax so dollar uh, dot ajax and first thing first we need to add uh, uh, the header for the uh, in Laravel you need it uh, you need to pass a token so that uh, you won't face any problem so we put this syntax here let me make it center so that it's easy to read easy to see so this is uh, it now next thing we need to pass is the URL URL, uh, I say import CSV slash file, comma. The next thing is going to be cache. Oh, I want these to be false. Define everything. So now the data we are passing it is going to be here data. And uh, we are appending to the form data. So we will be passing that here. Now in here, we say type because we need to tell like what type we are using. We are using post. So we are posting this data. Now, once we have uh, this much, we need to uh, mention what if uh, the success happens. 
So when success happens, uh, run a function. And that function uh, should have a data. And inside here, we can define uh, whatever you want. So for now, let's console.log data. So yeah, this is the shortest so, so far. So uh, let's do this. Now we have the URL, which is set to this. And uh, we need to define a route and then the create a controller. So in the next video, we are going to do that. Uh, if you like the video, do subscribe, share, and have a nice day.